Here's the latest from Daily Architecture News. Established in 2007, Los Angeles-based furniture maker Calon Studios is built on the principles of sustainability, local production and top-notch materiality. But ask the company's co-founders what drove the development of their first ever showroom, and the brand values grow to include a sharp focus on community and connection. Driven by materiality, the Calon crew designed the three-level space to feature mostly organic finishes, namely timber and linen, stone and metal. They say the intention was to highlight materials that will patina and grow more beautiful with age and with use. A hallmark of Calon's design philosophy, evidenced by the substantial library of finishes and textiles on offer. The bustling Baghdad Avenue in Istanbul is one of the country's most iconic and lively retail destinations. Often likened to Champs-Élysées in Paris, the leafy avenue attracts scores of visitors from all over the world. Located here among the action, the new Apple store seeks to create a green oasis of creativity in the centre of the city. Designed by Foster & Partners, the standalone building is set back from the busy shopping street, creating a generous tree-lined square, a sort of public plaza for the celebration of urban life. The store is the result of a close collaboration between the integrated architecture and engineering studios at Foster & Partners and Apple's in-house design teams. The building responds to the site and its unique environmental conditions, resulting in a simple and harmonious form. Located at Museum Park in the centre of Rotterdam, an hour's drive southwest of Amsterdam, the depot is the first art facility of its kind, offering a no-holds-barred approach to the city's 151,000-piece collection. The assignment was to offer a glimpse behind the scenes of the museum world and make the whole art collection accessible to the public, says the team from MVRDV, the Dutch architecture firm tasked with bringing the project to life. They fulfilled the brief by creating a series of unconventional exhibition halls, joined by an enormous amount of open storage space for art and design, all tucked within a reflective, rounded volume that responds to its urban parkland surroundings. Thought of as not just another museum by its architects, Swiss firm Herzog & Muron, the M Plus facility is set to become a landmark vessel for 20th and 21st century art, design, architecture and moving images. Displayed among the museum's plentiful galleries, the sizeable collection hails from China, Asia at large and the lands beyond. More locally, it includes artefacts sourced from Hong Kong, where the museum is sited in the city's West Kowloon Cultural District. It's here that the institution is capturing attention with its upturned T-shaped premises. The vertical stroke of the museum's facade transformed into a giant video screen that reflects in the harbour waters. After nearly 10 years of preparation, the inaugural M Plus program invites visitors to explore the overarching themes of the new museum, as well as the narratives at the heart of its collections. You have to hand it to Studio Graham. Not only has the Adelaide-based firm succeeded in designing an out-of-the-box bar and restaurant with Italian New York connections, they've also managed to lean into the wild ride that is the 2013 film Wolf of Wall Street and merge it with their design response. In fact, it was a conversation from the all-American crime flick that inspired the venue's name, Fugazi. The client's brief to the designers called for an elevated culinary experience suggesting drinks and nibbles should be enjoyed in the bar upon arrival and longer stays welcomed in the dining room, encouraged by the plushness of its booths. Rich in materiality and moody in execution, the bar allows patrons to sink into its corners from day through to nightfall. The restaurant is much brighter with carefully curated art and objet and a sophisticated level of comfort. Custom joinery pieces with a range of circle cut details, mostly featuring a glossy red finish, appear to unify the two spaces. Three years ago, Shanghai-based architecture firm Neri & Hu won the competition to design the distillery and home base for Pernod Ricard's first malt whiskey venture in China. Named the Chuan, the facility has this month opened to the public. The project for the French wine and spirits seller, the second largest company of its kind in the world, represented an opportunity to create something timeless, says the architects. Something that speaks to the core values of a visionary new brand, as well as the material and cultural heritage it aspires to sustain. 
The revered ground upon which the Chuan now sits was a natural source of inspiration for the building's design. Surrounded on three sides by a meandering creek and with the 3,099 metre peak of Mount Ame as its backdrop, the location for the distillery is an exemplification of the Chinese notion Shangshui, literally translating to mountain water. In the spirit of this philosophy, the architects aimed to strike a balance between architecture and landscape, industry and visitor experience, and mountain and water. The strength of their architectural response lies in its humbleness and its simplicity, Exampled by the way the distillery's industrial buildings have become a modern interpretation of vernacular Chinese architecture, and how the visitor experience buildings appear as elemental geometries grounded in the terrain. You can catch up on all of these stories and more online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.